one of the question people ask me whenever i discuss process mining is how process mining is different from uh, business intelligence so today we'll see how process mining is actually different from uh, business intelligence and also we'll see how the value provided by these two tools or technology is different and how it helps an organization in its own way so let us understand both these technologies are used in a business to achieve a common goal that is to help a business make better more informed and evidence based decisions so what is the key difference between uh, process mining and business intelligence so we can take uh, business intelligence as more like a monitoring and a reporting tool and process mining as a more in depth analysis tool so business intelligence can tell you what went wrong and process mining can tell you why something has gone wrong you can simply consider it as business intelligence is a tool a technology that provides you the what behind something that has gone wrong and process mining provides the why behind something that has gone wrong in an organization to understand the difference between process mining and business intelligence in a better way let us take a simple case study of an amazon delivery process and we will delve deep into the process to see how business intelligence is helping the business to take better decisions and also we'll see how process mining is complementing that business intelligence outcome uh, to take even more better decisions let us get started and uh, get into the details and explore the business intelligence side of uh, Amazon delivery process first and then we will move into the process mining side. Here we can see a simple uh, dashboard of an Amazon delivery business intelligence. This dashboard uh, gives you information about um, how the delivery is performed across different city and what is the on time customer delivery percentage for each of the city. It also provides you information about uh, the trend of the on time delivery percentage month on month what it gives you is the what information of the amazon delivery process so it clearly says that what city is performing well what city is not performing well so in this example we can clearly see that um, birmingham as a city is performing extremely well looking at the current month because the on time customer delivery percentage is 100% and also we can see london is uh, poorly performing and the corresponding on time delivery percentage is 30% the trend also says that how the on time customer delivery percentage is um, changing month on month so we can see the trend is going down which means they're not managing the process well and they have to take corrective actions to make sure the customer delivery is done on time so that the customer satisfaction score doesn't go down so this information is good for a business and also it is a very useful insights for them to understand on a high level how the on time delivery trend is going on month on month and also it provides them um, which city is not performing well what it is not answering basically is why some city is not performing well or why some city is performing really well and also why the trend is going down how it is done today without a process mining setup is basically someone from amazon central delivery business would be in touch with the delivery head of the city london and talk to them to understand what is the reason behind this poor performance of the customer on time delivery probably the london person would come up with the various different reason but it is not black and white to to everyone in the organization the central person from amazon business has to take anything the london person says and has to agree to it and they have to arrive at an action based on uh, whatever is the reason given from the london delivery person this is more of a manual process and also not a data driven approach and also it doesn't serve the fact of uh, evidence based decisions these decisions are done based on um, the inputs given from the london person this is good but still it can be better so that's where like you know process mining is going to add value we will look into the same example see how process mining can help to take better decisions than what it has been done right now so now uh, let us see how uh, the whole uh, scenario changes if amazon uh, delivery business has a process mining setup in house 
what this uh, process mining setup can help this uh, amazon business with apart from the business intelligence uh, data dashboard they have got from a business intelligence team process mining on a high level provides two different things okay number one is what is the bottleneck in the process and also what are the different reworks that happens in the process so the bottlenecks uh, can be because of the lack of resource or it can be because of the time taken by the resource uh, is a bit more to perform the task maybe they're not efficient enough to perform the task they might think about automating the process if it is manual or they might train the employee or the person who's doing the task in a better way so they can perform the task in a faster way when it comes to rework so the rework can be uh, due to many reasons ideally rework um, is because like you know something is done wrong or like you know something someone doesn't follow the process or someone makes a mistake in all those cases the work has to be done again and there will be rework uh, which doesn't add any value to the process so to understand how process mining is helping in this particular example we'll see the, the output of process mining for two different cities and we will compare them so number one is the birmingham city process mining output and number two is the London city process mining output. From the previous uh, business intelligence dashboard, we understood that uh, customer on-time delivery percentage for Birmingham was really good, which is 100%. So in this process mining output, we will see why that 100% is happening in Birmingham and why not in London and what is the key reasons behind that. Why Birmingham has a better uh, customer on-time delivery percentage is because in Birmingham, we can clearly say uh, uh, there were a total of 10,000 orders that has uh, come in for the month and on an average every order has taken one minute to be processed to the next task which is the payment task okay, where all of the orders have been successful in the payment task which nearly took again an average of one minute so the warehouse receives the order once the payment is done so now the warehouse will allocate all the different orders based on the stocks that is available in the warehouse so say it takes on an average of 10 minutes to allocate every order to the stock and so that the stock can be picked and packed and shipped so the next step, as you can see, is uh, the picking and packing and shipping. Uh, employee or a robot from Amazon uh, pick up the right uh, product okay, for based on the order and it has been picked and packed. Say a person takes that uh, group of orders and it goes and delivered to multiple different uh, customer. On an average, say, okay, the delivery person takes one day uh, to deliver order based on the date okay, where the order has come. This gives us a total cycle time of two days and 12 minutes. In Amazon Prime, we can uh, there is a guarantee from Amazon they would deliver most of the orders within three days if you can see all the 10,000 orders has been delivered okay, within the three days time period so we can say the total number of orders we have got is 10,000 and the on-time delivered order is 10,000 obviously the uh, customer on-time delivery uh, percentage is calculated by total order over the on-time delivered orders which is 100% so that's how Birmingham was able to deliver every order on time to customer and we can clearly see how well the process is performing and what are the time taken for every activity and or between the activity to be performed okay in the process so now going on to london we can uh, see that compared to birmingham london has got 50000 orders for the system to process the order and the payment on an average it takes 1 minute which is similar to birmingham which means the systems are really good and the warehouse gets the order and the warehouse try to uh, allocate every order based on the stocks they have got on an average it, for an order it takes again 10 minutes but if you see the next step the item has been picked and packed and it is ready for shipping on an average for every order it takes again one day but finally when the order is ready for delivery uh, we can see there is a clear bottleneck okay on an average uh, in london for an order to be delivered it takes five days so what could be the reason for that so we can clearly see the root cause for this lower percentage is because of the bottleneck in this uh, final delivery stage to understand this bottleneck better we can ask a specific question to the uh, london delivery center to understand why there is bottleneck in this final uh, stage of the order probably they might come up with answers like they didn't have enough resource okay to deliver the order on time and also the number of orders that has come for the month is extremely high and they didn't have the resource to 
satisfy that so they could uh, only uh, satisfy 10000 orders in a day there has to be a delay okay, because of no resource so that kind of insight is very clear in process mining uh, it gives you more insights of the root cause on top of the high level metric from a dashboard or business intelligence dashboard so it would help a central person to ask key specific question because the central person now would understand where the actual problem is and why it is happening in the process this would not be only in terms of bottleneck so we can even uh, think of this from different angle in the third stage okay where the warehouse receives the order and trying to allocate stock okay to the order say if the warehouse didn't have enough stocks so they have to request it from a central warehouse so when it requests from the central warehouse there might be delays coming from there or uh, they might be in appropriate groups sent from the central warehouse due to uh, some mistake so that would create a rework in that case okay because the order has to be sent back to the central warehouse and the central warehouse ha- again have to correct it and send the right goods uh, to the warehouse and then the picking and packing has to be done and the delivery has to be done so that is one example for rework so you can also think about uh, like you know bottleneck and rework happening um, at the same time so in a, another example we can look at something like you know a goods uh, has to be got from the central warehouse because there was not enough stocks in uh, the other warehouse so when the order goes to the central warehouse the central warehouse partially sends the good so now it cannot goes to the next stage because they need to get the complete order for them to go to the next stage so it is stuck there okay because of the partial goods uh, delivered from the central warehouse again the central warehouse has to do a rework of uh, sending the goods again which is double time delivery from central warehouse to um and to the other warehouse so so these are some of the different uh, like you know insights or detailed analyzed output process mining can provide a business which would be really useful for a business owner to take uh, informed decision making and also it clearly tells them where the root cause is there in the problem uh, what is triggering the root cause can be identified by asking specific question uh, to the occasion where this problem occurs in this example we can see the bottleneck is in the final delivery stage which the final delivery takes 5 days uh, the total number of orders that has been got is 50000 so on time delivered order is 10000 the final delivery uh, resource available can satisfy only 10000 orders in a day so it has to be moved on to the next day for the other orders to be delivered out of the 50000 only 10000 orders were delivered on time so we can see that, that is the reason for the low work customer on time delivery percentage uh, in london i believe this would have given you a detailed understanding uh, about how process mining provide different value from business intelligence and we can see process mining and business intelligence as companions rather than rivals uh, because one of them help the other and for a business having both of them would help them to take better decisions if you enjoyed the content i have shown in this video Uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and also like this video if you like to get notification on my future videos uh, i would highly recommend you to uh, ring that bell button too so that's it for uh, today's video i will try and see you with another new video until then uh, you guys have a good one